Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. <laughs> Excuse me. I have met somebody here. Ooh, there's a message in it for someone here. Here we go. I like starting the reading off that. I saw this card right before I press, press play. Believe in the impossible. Some of you are like, once in a, well, maybe in a blue moon. You know, well, there's a such thing. There is a possibility. So believe in the impossible. So this is actually a really good message. If you, whew, there we go. So that's confirmation. You're very close to achieving a goal right now, whatever that is. And maybe for a lot of you, you've wanted to give up on that goal. And you've just like, there's been a lot of like, Oh my God, is this ever going to happen? Am I ever going to make, like, is anything ever going to get moving? All of those things. Well, we've had planets in retrograde for quite some time, like the last six months of the year. So it's saying now that the energy is go gaining, gaining momentum and do not let pride get in your way right now. This is going to make you or break you. A lot of us have been just spinning our wheels, spinning our wheels, feeling like we're never going to get anywhere, feeling like things are not moving forward. And it's saying, and so usually right at that very time is when we want to just bounce out and be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. I'm not doing this. It's saying, don't give up. Believe in the impossible. Yes. It's like, there is this light at the end of the tunnel. See how it's like, there it is. But anytime there's this light at the end of the tunnel that we're focusing on, we always have these things that keep coming at us from all different directions. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. This is never going to happen. I'm just wasting my time. And then your friends are coming at you. Bills are coming at you. You got all these things that are coming at you. And it's saying, listen, <clears throat> be bold. Step into your inner strength. Step into your inner strength. Don't let the fear of failure get in your way. Because right now, when we have Saturn at the very edge of Aquarius, that's like that, oh God. And then we have Pluto at 29 degrees in Capricorn. We've never seen this before in our lifetimes. These are two major planets at the very tail end of their transits, moving into another sign. Saturn for three years and Pluto to start off, and then it'll move back into Capricorn in a few months, and then next year it'll be in, in Aquarius for 20 years till 2044. That's a really big deal. Okay. So it's like that we're sitting in this in between world where we're like, Oh my God, I don't know if this is ever going to happen. And it says, believe in the impossible, believe you can achieve. And so it shall be. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. What major arcana are they dealing with right now? What major arcana? What do they need? What major life lesson? Wow. The sun and the star? Are you fucking kidding me? Your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, happiness, success. I mean, I can't... We've got the sun here twice with Leo and the sun. This is all about new beginnings. This is about a clean bill of health. For those of you who have been going through any type of health issues, I'm not a doctor. Please go to it. You know, please get yourself checked out. Um, and this is not for everyone, but this is for whoever I'm tapped into. Um... I do feel like there's healing here. There's happiness here. The stars are finally aligning for you. And you're feeling this push into this new direction of, of happiness. And um, I just feel like a, a, a love for life again. It's like a zest for life again. And this is going to start like really getting going. We don't have any planets in retrograde until... Um, April. Wow. Wow. We've got the Ace of Wands here. Brand new opportunities. Spirit, please show me. All right. So then we've got the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And we've got the Ten of Cups. This is fortune after difficulty. You couldn't get any of the best. I could just stop the reading right now. This is new work opportunities, new financial endeavors. This is pe with people partnering with you. If you have been... Um, you know, and, and I really do feel like this is about your work and, and how you're going to take care of your family or if you want to bring in a family, if this is about love. I feel like this goes with every area of our lives. When we're in love, that's when the, we're the most creative. And it doesn't mean that we have to be in love with somebody beside us. But yes, if you want something stable, someone who's going to come in and last the test of time, 
Um, that's the King of Pentacles here. Virgo, Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy does not have to be, but they could be also taking on the attributes. Whatever the King of Pentacles is focused on over here, he's got his pentacle and he's been sitting on that pentacle like going, hmm, all right, I've already got my riches here and, and everything has moved forward for that to happen. Now it's time for me to think about, okay, where do I want to take this pentacle and what opportunities do I have and how can I make all of this even more. So this is capitalizing on your business, capitalizing on these new sparks of idea. And I definitely feel like it's going to bring happiness into the home. You're going to feel good when you are financially stable. You know, I think that when we talk about, I want to be rich, my idea of being rich is not having to worry of coming from paycheck to paycheck. My idea of being rich is how many people are sitting at my dinner table that I am able to feed. You know, my idea of being rich is saying, I don't want to have to choose between my food and my rent or my car payment. Like my idea of being rich. What is your idea of being rich? Because people are seeing you as a star. There's a spotlight on you right now. They are seeing you as someone who is capable, grounded, um, very practical, you know, thinks about the, and has an eye for the long term and not wanting these, these empty offers that aren't coming in because you're too afraid. You're too afraid but that's what this is saying is do not let pride get in your way. Step into that bold, uh, bold lion energy. Okay. A lions aren't afraid. You don't see them, you know, you know, and run away. You know, you want to make sure that you're not being one of those when success is like literally slapping you in the face. This is going to bring more money in for the family. Holy crap. We've got the queen of pentacles here now. So for a lot of you, you've graduated from the queen to the king. And yes, the cards are kind of sexist, but whatever. We accept it for what it is and that's it, right? So with that said, but this could also be a couple. This is a couple in, you know, starting a new family. And this is, a, you know, a guy's, you know, maybe for some of you, if you're looking for love, there is someone who is admiring you and is thinking about making you an offer. And this is going to be an offer that you can't refuse. This is going to change your life. For some of you, I do feel like celebrity celebrity status. You could be, maybe you end up meeting a celebrity. It could be a masculine celebrity. Um, not that like they mean anything to me, but celebrities are YouTubers. Like for me, I walk into a store or I go somewhere and people know who I am. I mean, I went to Texas and went into a place one time and the girl had my video on the computer at her work. And when I walked up, she started crying. It was freaking amazing. I went to Texas. I never expected to go to Texas, right? But I did. And I was noticed there. It was absolutely insane. And the girl it was so cute. So people are going to notice you. You are the, the rising star right now. These two cards coming out, believe in the impossible. Believe that things can turn around. Believe that you can make, you know, you're going to be able to make ends meet and everything is going to be exciting. Help is on the way with that white horse there. I, I definitely do feel like abundance coming in. I feel like brand new opportunities. It's, but here's the deal. For some of you, you're going to, you're going to turn down the offer maybe even, um, because maybe it's not the offer that you want. And so you've decided I'm going to turn down this offer because again, aces are free wills. They're an opportunity from the universe and the universe says, do you want them or not? And the king of pentacles is going to sit down. He's going to analyze this offer before a, he invests in it <clears throat> or B before he sends it out. Okay. The king always sits back because he is the, uh, besides the emperor, he is the final uh, decision maker on the throne. So, you know, I, I really, really like this. I want to pull an angel mess. Actually, no, I want to pull one from the wisdom of the oracle. Spirit, any messages from any other advice? Any advice that we have? Any advice? Wow. Yeah. Quit it with the never ending story. It's time, it's time for you to breathe out. You know, it's twice now today that the never ending story has come up into my conscious awareness. So not repeating any of the same stories that we continue to tell ourselves that I'm not going to make it. Time is running out because Saturn is the ruler of time. And when he's sitting at the, the last degree of a sign, I believe he's at 28 degrees right now. He moves on March 7th. It's like, oh my God, it feels like you're running out of time. And, and maybe for some of you, you are on a time clock, but it's saying breathe, 
take time. That's what the, the King of Pentacles is doing. He's staying grounded. He's breathing in and he is, so he's not making an emotionally based decision. That's what ends up getting your asses in trouble is when you make an emotionally based decision because you're not seeing results now. And for some of you, it's like, you're looking, you need to look at the, the, the emotional aspect here and not just the financial aspect here. Okay. <clears throat> So quit telling yourself these same old stories. Of, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Start talking about what you want to bring into existence. And that's what we want to shine the light on. That's what our hopes, wishes, and dreams are all about is being able to manifest these things and look at how vulnerable they are. Someone here is going to find out that they are pregnant. Okay. This is another baby coming in. So, um, <laughs> congratulations or you know, because I'm definitely seeing um, the beginning and starting of a new family. It could also be you blending families with someone else. Let's go ahead and look into your reading, you guys. Let's check out your love. Um, since this is so awesome. Wow, I just said children and look at that. So we've got the baby there. We've got a baby here now. And we've got the children in the background here, okay? So you guys are going to be adding to your family. Congratulations to those of you who are having children and dad's looking at it like, oh crap, I've got to support this little booger for the rest of his life because he's not going to go away. So how can I do this? Um, plus we do have Leo here and Leo is all about children, passion projects. And if it's not a child, it's a new business that you, new ad, uh, venture that you're going to be going on. But um, for some of you, it's new, a new pet. Okay. You could be getting a new horse or a pony, maybe for one of your kids, a cat or some dogs is what I'm seeing. For some of you, it's a it's a bull. <laughs> Maybe you're getting a bull or a cow or something. So we've got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So with the children, it's like, don't be acting like children right now. For some of you, you could end up meeting this person while you're on a trip, or this person could live at a distance from you and they want to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. So it could be, you know, uh, for some of you, you talk about like, do you have kids or, you know, whatever. If you're going to be like meeting up with a person or for some of you, you're needing to go on a, a date with a significant other and maybe you guys are going to have a talk about the children and what your next uh, steps are when it comes to their possibly education because that seems to be a really big one and there's a highlight on that right now too with all the indoctrination of the children. So with that said, heart to heart conversations, um, maybe even sitting down with your kids and having a conversation and somebody is traveling in to come and see you, okay? Um, in love, I definitely do feel like for some of you, uh, co uh, communication is definitely key between you and a partner if you're already in a relationship and <clears throat> your significant partner could also be, uh, be going on a work trip. So you guys could definitely be separated for that time. But I do feel like the angels are protecting them and is going to be bringing them back to you. You guys, I absolutely love this reading here today. I, I love it. I hope you guys will share it. It does mean the world to me. It does help my channel grow. Don't forget to like, share, uh, and, and subscribe to this channel and subscribe. And if you guys have not already had this come into your life, open your arms, stop telling yourself the same old, same old bullshit, and just breathe out and just know that the universe has your back. You are the star of the show and the sun is shining on you. Anyway, love you guys all so much and we will chat again soon. Take care.